In this video, I'm going to go over how to work the simple uh, machine problem for the screw. So here's the first problem that we're going to work. A wood screw with a pitch of 0.125 inches is advanced into wood using a screwdriver whose handle is 2.50 inches in diameter. What is the IMA of the screw? All right, so our distance of our resistance is told to us first. It says a wood screw with a pitch of 0.125 inches. So we talked about in the PowerPoint that your distance of your resistance is your pitch. I know we also talked about it's uh, usually given in threads per inch uh, and then you have to put a one over that number but in this problem it just gives us the pitch so we don't have to do that first part. Um, so that is 0 0.125 inches. Alright it's advanced into wood using a screwdriver whose handle is 2.50 inches in diameter. So remember your distance of your effort is going to be your circumference. So that would be pi d. Alright so we're going to leave pi and the diameter of that screwdriver says to be 2.50 inches. Okay. That equals, now I don't have a pi button on my calculator, so I have to actually type in 3.14 times 2.5. So my answer is 7.8 inches for my DE. Right, so IMA equals, right down here we look, distance in over distance out. Or distance in is also effort over distance out, which is resistance. So I plug in the numbers. Right, I'm going to plug that in. Right, and I get 62.8 as my IMA. So IMA equals 62.8. Now the second part of the problem is really different in the fact that you're going to use um, a different screwdriver for this. Uh, so you're going to have to use your distances again. Uh, your distance of your efforts can be a little different. What makes it the second part of the problem is the fact that you're using the same type of screw again. So it's still going to have the same distance of your resistance. It's going to be the same type of screw. But for my distance of my effort, notice it says what is the resistance of a wood of the wood if 20.0 pounds of effort is applied to the wood screw using a screwdriver whose handle is 0 0.750 inches in diameter. So now the handle's circumference is going to be again still pi d. So it's pi times 0 0.750 inches, which is a much <clears throat> smaller screwdriver. So I say 3.14 times 0.75 equals 2.355 inches. Okay. So this says what is the resistance of the wood if 20.0 pounds of effort? So that means our force of our effort is equal to 20.0 pounds. So our force of our resistance is what we're trying to find. When we set this problem up, we're going to look at it as work in equals work out. Okay. So we know however much effort we put in has to be the amount of, uh, or the amount of work we put in has to equal the amount of work we get out. So when we look at this, it's force of our effort times the distance of our effort has to equal the force of our resistance times the distance of our resistance. And I know I spent a lot of time in the PowerPoint talking about how the efficiency of a screw is so low and that we really want it to be low because uh, whenever you put a screw in something, you really don't want it to come out. And when it does start un 
you know, unscrewing that it's really annoying. And a lot of people will then put Loctite in it to add friction to it. But when we're working these problems, uh, we have to assume just the full resistance of the wood as with that um, as as with that friction in there. So when I say what is the resistance of the wood, we're going to have to still set uh, work in equaling work out. Um, so let's talk about it more as the total resistance of the wood. All right. So looking at this problem here, we're going to say force of our effort is 20.0 pounds times the distance of our effort is 2.355 inches, which equals the force of my resistance, which is X, because I don't know that amount. That's what I'm solving for. And the distance of my resistance, which is 0 0.125 inches. Okay, my inches will end up canceling out when I bring this over, leaving me with pounds. But I'm going to multiply 20 times 2.355, and then I'll divide it by 0.125. So my force resistance is equal to 376.8 pounds. Okay. All right, and I'm going to work one more. Um, after this one, I'll go ahead and uh, turn this one off. And if you are still having problems, watch the next video of me doing another one.